Now we'll look at two examples of multiplying signed mixed numbers. When multiplying mixed numbers, the first step is to convert the mixed numbers to improper fractions. So for negative two and three-fourths, we know this will be a negative improper fraction, and I prefer to have the negative in the numerator. The denominator is going to stay three, and now the numerator is going to be the denominator times the whole number, so three times four plus the numerator, so three times four plus two would be 14. So negative four and two-thirds is equal to negative 14 thirds times for two and two-fifths, the denominator is going to stay five. The numerator will be five times two, which is 10, plus two, which is 12. Now before we multiply, we do want to simplify out the common factors between the numerators and denominators. And since three and 12 share a common factor of three, we can simplify here. To show this, let's write negative 14 thirds times, and for 12, we'll write three times four. This isn't necessary, but this does show the common factor of three over three that simplifies to one. Now we can go ahead and multiply. In the numerator, we have negative 14 times four, that's negative 56. The denominator is one times five, or five. This is our product as an improper fraction in simplest form, but we also want to convert this to a mixed number, which we know would also be negative, and now we can divide 56 by five. There's one five and five, we subtract, that would be zero. Bring down the six, there's one five and six, with the remainder of one. So this quotient is 11 and one fifth, which means our answer is negative 11 and one fifth. Now let's take a look at our second example. Again, we'll first convert this to an improper fraction, which you know is going to be negative. The denominator is going to be four, and then for the numerator we'll have four times three, that's 12, plus three, that's 15. So we have negative 15 fourths times, and then negative six we'll write as negative six over one. Notice that four and six share a common factor of two. To show this, let's write this as negative 15 over two times two times negative six we can write as negative three times two all over one. Again, this step isn't necessary, but it is nice because you can actually see the common factors. Here, two over two simplifies to one. Now we can go ahead and multiply. A negative times a negative is positive, so negative 15 times negative three is positive 45. Our denominator is two times one or two. This is our product as an improper fraction in simplest form, but now we'll go ahead and write this as a mixed number as well. To do this, we want to divide 45 by two. So 45 divided by two. There are two twos in four. Two times two is four. We subtract, that's zero. Bring down the five. There are two fives in five. Two times two is four. We subtract with the remainder of one. So this quotient is 22 and one half, which is also our product as a mixed number. Okay, I hope you found this helpful.